Welcome to another episode of Ultimate Bucket List, and on today's show, I show you around Italy's mega stadium that's home to four professional teams. The Stadio Olimpico, the venue for the 1960 Olympic Games in Rome, is now a modern stadium that's home to the Italian national football and rugby union teams, and it's a world famous iconic stadium. But it's also home to two of the nastiest rivals in world football, SS Lazio and AS Roma. These two Serie A sides contest the Derby della Capitale, and to say that they hate each other is a massive understatement. Trouble, violence and deaths between both sets of fans is fairly commonplace, and this is not a rivalry for the faint-hearted. The stadium itself, originally built in 1927, now holds a capacity crowd of 72,698. But what's it actually like in real life? Well, when you arrive at the stadium, you'll notice that it's part of a wider sporting complex. There's many other stadiums literally dotted around. So, for example, this one, the athletics track, which is lined with these marble statues. How very Roman. To get to the stadium tours, you'll need to go to the south side of the stadium. And if you haven't already bought tickets, you'll need to do it here at the ticket office, which is located at Curva Sud. Once you've bought your ticket, of course, the stadium tour starts here at the southwest corner of the stadium, where it says Stadio Olimpico Tour. So you'd have to be a complete idiot in order to not find this place. Once you've all been security checked, this is where your tour begins. The first port of call is the bus tunnel. This is where the buses transporting players will arrive into the stadium. It doesn't sound very interesting, but inside the tunnel, you'll have various game-worn shirts of the various athletes that have played here. Football shirts, rugby shirts, hey, you've even got Usain Bolt's vest here. There's some good opportunities with Francesco Totti's shirt, boo, and uh, what's that doing here? You'll then arrive at this video presentation board. It will show you a short video as to what events actually happen here. From the Olympics to athletics, concerts, and obviously football and rugby matches. But once the video is finished, the screens raise up, revealing the museum inside the stadium. Now you'll get a little bit of a short talk as to the history of the actual stadium itself, some of the most important events that have gone on here. You'll get to walk around the press conference bit. As you can see here, they're actually made of LED screens, and they'll change depending on which team is actually playing there so it makes for a nice photo and video opportunity. There's some pretty cool artifacts on display here, such as balls from Italia 90, original 1960 paraphernalia, various memorabilia belonging to players, and the first ever Scudetta trophy. Ooh, this is a nice shirt. Who does this belong to? Boo! Anyway, once you've finished booing anything with Giorgio Collini's name on it, You'll walk through the stadium and into the AS Roma dressing room. You can immediately tell it's that because it's decked out in Roman red and gold, and the dressing room itself actually pretty nice. I do like Roma's shirts, I do like the bucket seats here, and it's quite a sizable changing room. Ah, Nemanja Matic, what a player. And I definitely had to have my picture taken with this man. It's definitely a nice changing room but we don't get to spend all that much time in here before we're whisked away into the referee's dressing room. This is probably the nicest referee changing room I've ever been to. They get their own TV screens, even their own little office, with this guy watching over them. Next is the middle dressing room, which is home to the Italian national teams. So it's very similar to the AS Roma dressing room, albeit in varying shades of blue, but it's pretty much the same size, and once again, you can have photo and video opportunities with the shirts. I've always liked Italy's kits. Campione di Europa. Boy, these guys are really rubbing it in now. Next up is the SS Lazio dressing room, and as you could probably imagine, it's pretty much a carbon copy of the AS Roma dressing room, just in varying shades of blue and in the north side of the stadium. 
And again, you get some various photo and video opportunities here. You're whisked out of the dressing room and into the tunnel area. And the one thing I like about this place is that one half is permanently red for Roma and one half is permanently blue for SS Lazio. But I'm pretty sure that they can customize that to any color they want. The tunnel area is a misnomer because it's a big giant room and to access the field, you'll need to climb these stairs. And once you do, you'll quickly realize that the stadium is pretty much all one big giant tier. It kind of reminds me of Hamden Park a little bit, albeit a little bit nicer. AS Roma permanently sits in the south side of the stadium, whereas SS Lazio permanently sits in the north side. There's a small display indicating what sports are actually played here, but overall the views from the field are pretty nice. Once you're done having your pictures taken at pitch level, it's time to see where the rich people sit. So if you're rich enough, you can afford these seats where you get TV screens built on the back of the seats so you can watch instant replays. If you're super rich, you'll sit in these multicolored seats and this pretty much offers you the best view of the entire stadium. But if you're a super mega rich VIP, you'll sit right here with your own TV screens, heated leather seats, and you even get a mini bar. Ooh, let's check out and see if they've left us any beers and, uh, that's a shame. You'll then be shown into a corporate hospitality box. And to be honest, it's okay. I've seen better. I've definitely seen a lot worse. But there's quite a few artifacts on display from the various athletes that have performed here. It's up the stairs we go. This looks like a restaurant and, oh wait, she just told us that's the end of the tour. Boy, that was quick. Just in case you're starving because you've not eaten for the last hour, you can buy food and drink here. But if you don't want to do that, they'll let you out into the stadium shop, where you can purchase a plethora of AS Roma, Lazio, Italy national football and rugby merchandise, and you can even have green screen photos taken of you here. There's plenty of stuff to buy in this shop, and you can even have your shirts customized if you want to. But after that, you're basically let out of the exit, and that's pretty much it. So I've just completed my tour here at the Stadio Olimpico, and I've got to say, it was possibly the shortest tour I've ever done in my life. Literally from start to finish, it took about 45 minutes. Even though you got to see a lot of stuff, you don't get to see it for very long. But guys, if you are a Lazio or Roma fan, or if you just like stadium tours, this does come highly recommended. Sonin, whereabouts in the hierarchy of your stadium tours does this go? It's somewhere in the middle. The only real criticism, as mentioned in the video, is that it seems a little bit rushed. A few more minutes at each stop would have probably earned it a higher placement for sure. But the staff were great. Iladia is beautiful, and I'm sure if you get her as part of your tour, you're in for a good time. Albeit very briefly. Okay, Nin, I'm sold. What do I need to do? Well, you need to come here to the Stadio Olimpico. It's located nowhere near the center of Rome. It's about six kilometers north of Termini Station. And to get here, you'll need to take the Rome Metro to a stop called Ottaviano. And from Ottaviano, you'll need to take the number 32 bus. You'll know when to get off because it will literally drop you off at the side of the stadium. The tickets, it costs about 18 euros or something like that and for that the tour lasts 45 minutes. You can book either directly on their website, I'll leave the details on the screen there, or you can just pay in the ticket office like I did. If you want tickets to actual matches, visit each club's respective websites and book tickets directly with whichever home side it's playing. Is there anything else I need to know? Yes, if you're expecting a detailed stadium tour, it's not going to be. The staff here are very lovely. Most of them speak English, so you'll be fine, but it helps to know basic Italian phrases. And if you are coming to Rome, check out my complete Rome city guide right here. Other than that, what you see in this video is pretty much what you get on a standard stadium tour. And if you have enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, share and subscribe. Comment on that comment section below. And if you've got any other bucket list ideas, you know what to do, tweet them at me. If I get enough suggestions, I'll go ahead and do that. But guys, thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.
Me? I'm from Manchester, England. Okay. Oh, there's no beers in here. Never mind. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye bye now. <laughs>